church hearing the truth. Amen. They don't need to be in those churches where we're telling you all right, don't worry about it. So preacher, I'll marry you. They don't need to be in that church. They need to be at the church where there's going to be deliverance. Uh, that's right, that's right. Come on, say amen. amen. Did you know we have to, when God saves you, you have to also be delivered. Amen. If you commit something as a sin, and uh, let me go ahead and give you the, the reference to that. In Egypt, they were saved in the land of Goshen. The land of Goshen is in Egypt. They had the blood applied in the land of Goshen in Egypt. But they had to be delivered from Egypt yes. because they were going to become taskmasters again. Slaves to the culture. Slaves to their way of doing. Slaves to the Egyptians. Are you with me now? So we have to be delivered from that their lifestyle. You have to be, I believe when a young man or an older man or whatever is delivered from homosexuality, I believe their speech changes. I believe their mannerisms change. Oh, help me preach a little while here. If you get saved from alcoholism, you're going to quit alcoholism, aren't you? You're going to quit hanging out at the ballroom. Somebody say amen. And if you get saved from a homosexual lifestyle, you're going to act like a man or woman. The Bible said the effeminate shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. You know, what did he mean by the effeminate? Matthew Henry, that great Puritan said, it means to be act unmanly, to have characteristics like a woman. I believe God will help a young man have characteristics like a man. Somebody praise the Lord. Either sooner or later, he'll act like a man when he's delivered. Brother, let me tell you what that spirit is. It's a spirit of predatorism. And all they do is recruit, recruit, recruit. They get children in the corner. Boy Scouts, come on here now. In the banks of the army, in the banks of youth camps, they're trying to recruit. But I'm telling you, it's a spirit of lust. It's a spirit of uncleanness. And God wants men to be delivered or he'll destroy entire nations. Amen. God never said he'd destroy a nation. Because they wore this and didn't wear that. Read your Bible. But he did say he destroyed entire civilizations because of sexual uncleanness in my own life. Come on. Say amen. He will destroy them. Woo! Come on here. I'm feeling that way just today. I don't want to ride this. I don't want to be hate. Please don't. Feel like if you've got something going on in your life, I tell the young people that they was telling you, you what? Know, see, they're opening the door, even for people who are very straight, yes. to start. Hello. Uh -huh. Thinking my relationship don't work out. That's what they work. They work out, by the way. Read James Dobson. You know how predator works. Predator don't get Caleb. Uh oh, he starts playing ball with Caleb. They say James Dobson said a, a predator will work on your child a year or two. Before they advance sin. Brother, I can't stand it. You know what I'm saying? I can't stand it. Now, let me say that so clear. I sound like I'm hating. I'm not hating. They need God. They need Jesus. But that is not genetic. It's not biological. It's a learned behavior just like you learn to eat. Come on, say amen. You learn to like certain foods. Come on here now. It's a learned behavior. There's nothing. I'm like old brother Ben Carson. He said, why can't they go in prison straight and come out gay? That's not genetic. Somebody said he meant that. I'll be the Holy Ghost in here. My God have mercy. Brother, we're not changing for him. I can't change for him. I'm not going to hate him. I want to see him. I want to see him deliver. But I am not going along with that. If they shoot me down out here, I'm not going down on the back. I'm going to stay. But if not, but if not, I've got family in it. I've got cousins in it. I've got nieces that are lesbian, look like men out like men wearing bill holes on their hips. But I'm not going along with it. it they can't be delivered. God can't set them free. God can bring each of out of the heart. Somebody said, I've never seen one deliver. Yes, God can deliver them. God can deliver them. Somebody say yes. Amen. God can set them free. He can set the perverted man. It's got a, uh, another one I can't hardly bear that's against the word of God is these predators you hear about. That's after 50-year-old men, after 16-year-old girls and 10-year-old children. My God, somebody help me preach here. I'm here to have 
The devil trying to destroy our whole society yes. with his trash. They're all around. Did you know that? Every neighborhood Donna and I move into, we check the databases to see who's a sexual predator or a fender around us. You say he ought not to do such thing. Pray for him. Well, that's just a given. I am praying for him. Come on, say amen. Amen. You got to forgive them. I, that's just a given. I am forgiven if they get right. Amen. You know, don't you love it when people say, you got to pray for them. What they're trying to say is, I think you're all right. I mean, that's a given, isn't it? Please forgive me for being sarcastic. Everybody knows you got to pray for everybody. Or somebody or anybody. Hello. You know, we got to do that. You got to forgive them. Sure, everybody knows that. What person is right mind? You have to be a hater. Uh, uh, you have to be evil not to forgive people. Right. Really, and it's just something real evil. Hallelujah. Hard or whatever you want to call it. But I'm telling you right here, that's not what they want. They want a license. Come on. Do you know the homosexual agenda is to make everybody in the world homosexual? That's the rainbow agenda. That's exactly right. It's like the communists had their agenda that day. Now, let's move on. I don't know why, God, but there's a reason. Have conviction. You don't have to hate people to have conviction. That's right. You don't have to be prejudiced to have conviction. Someone say amen. Amen. Glory to God. If you've got a conviction, they try to make it look like we're prejudiced on this. That has nothing to do with skin color. I can't help the way I was born. Tall, good looking, nice looking man. <laughs> Don't say nothing until Mary on you. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know who that is, don't Mary. <laughs> Glory to God. But I'm telling you, I can't help that. Oh, Brother John can't help that he's born ugly. My God, have mercy. His wife thinks he's good looking with his uh, Semper Fi haircut. <laughs> and I want to tell you this right here. Glory to God. We can't help that, can we? You can't help your gender. You can't help your race. You can't help your ethnicity. Was born of that. But you can help your behavior. In fact, the homosexual is really homosexual only when he's having sex. Think about it. I mean, he may have a homosexual throughout, but the only time a homosexual really carrying out homosexuality is when they're having affairs. 